And here's the thing, set apart, by the way, doesn't mean set above. We've got to be careful here. doesn't mean, you know, holier than thou or, or better than. This was the attitude of the Pharisees, the religious leaders in Jesus' time, and he called them out on this all the time. They, they always felt that they were holier than everyone else around them. In fact, they wouldn't even associate or allow people who were quote unquote unclean or had a sickness or a disease, they could not even touch them or be in the presence of them because they were holy men. They would not associate with quote unquote sinners because they were holy men. Of course, we know Jesus just wrecked that by touching those who were sick, touching those who were lame, by eating with sinners. But the, but the Pharisees, no, they, they, in fact, the way they dressed, the way in which they dressed was crazy. They, they had robes and tassels and they had jewels. Why? Because they wanted to, first, God gave them that as a way to show who they were as a person, but it began to become prideful and they became pious and they got all these jewels because they wanted to show everybody, this is how holy I am. Honestly, this reminds me of the church that I grew up in. I don't know if you grew up in church. Maybe you didn't grow up in church. I, I grew up in, in, in church, and I grew up in the era of do's and don'ts. You, you don't do this. If you want to be holy, you don't do this. If you, if you want to be holy, you, you do this, and you don't go here, and you don't do that. I, growing up, and this, if you didn't grow up in church, this may sound crazy, but growing up, I couldn't go to movies. I couldn't go to movies because it was considered unholy. Now, I was like, what makes it unholy? I, I don't know. We just, why can't we go to the movies? I, I don't know. We just don't go. We just don't go to those places. So I was a child of, of the late 70s, and that was when Star Wars came out. Everybody was watching Star Wars except for this kid. I wasn't allowed to watch it. You know what's crazy, though? We would go to Burger King and get the collector cups. I had an R2-D2 cup, a C-3PO cup, a Chewbacca cup, Darth Vader. I knew every character from Star Wars, but I wasn't allowed to watch, go to the movie house to watch it because that's where, I don't know, I guess the sinners hung out. I, I, I don't know. Uh, this is crazy, though. So I've never, ever been a Star Wars fan. I've never gotten into Star Wars for that very reason. My kids are like, Dad, you got to watch Star Wars. So during the pandemic, remember the first part when we were all shut down? I said, all right, I'm going to sit down. I'm watching the first Star Wars. Can I be honest with you? In the first 45 minutes, I felt so guilty. I was like, oh, I know I'm sinning. Oh, I know this isn't right. Oh, this is so wrong, but it's so good. It's so wrong, but it's so good. <laughs> so what was it like for you growing up? Maybe you grew up in church. Maybe you didn't grow up in church. I'd like for you to write this down. Holiness is not something I do. It's who I am. Holiness is not something I do. It's who I am. The Apostle Paul helps us with this in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 2. He talks about it. He says, he, that's God, God made you holy by means of what? Of Christ Jesus. There's nothing we can do to make ourselves holy. There's nothing you can do. It, it's only through the cross and the work of Jesus that you have been made holy. It's not about reading your Bible more, praying more. Hey, you know, if I just, you know, I, I can't miss church online. I, man, if I, if I, I, I'm so glad I'm here today because, whew, that's helping me to, now I'm holy because I got to go to church. You know, I cussed a little less this week, uh, so that somehow makes me holy. Now listen, reading your Bible, praying, joining us online, you know, watching your, your, your language, those are all good things, but they are not going to make you holy. Out, here's the thing, outward expressions do not lead to inward transformation. The Pharisees tried this. They tried all the outward expressions. They tried to do all the right things. And you know what Jesus called them? Whitewashed tombs. They were dead on the inside. This is why so many people in the world say the church is full of nothing but a bunch of hypocrites. This is why sometimes when you see people, you're like, man, they do all these things, but the way they are on the inside doesn't match up. I hear what they're saying. I see what they're doing, but, but I can tell something's not right on the inside. It's because you can't make yourself holy. So stop trying. Stop trying to earn it and instead receive it.